you've destroyed the lives of a tremendous amount of people and families. And I don't think that that collateral damage is worth it. Uh, National Marine Fisheries Service is second only to the Internal Revenue Service and the number of regulations. The management, the regulations, and the assessments have dwindled down the local fleet, I'd say, by 75 percent. You get rid of 500 of us, that's 2,500 less sheets of paper somebody's got to look at. That's more time for drinking coffee. My card quota was cut by 160 percent in a five-year period. How can that be? Get out of the glass cubicles and come out on the boats with us and see what's going on. Truly see what really we do. What do we catch? Because of the regulations, ground fishing specifically is the deadliest among all fishing jobs. Gary was standing next to me. The boat pitch pulled on the side. Sucked him out of the boat. We made like three or four attempts to, you know, rescue him. We lost sight of him and he drowned. Last summer, for days at end, I'd be fishing alone. I wouldn't see another boat. Makes the hair stand up on the back of your neck. I felt like a fisherman was under house arrest. The folks that depend on this industry every day are not looking to catch the last fish because that would mean the end of their livelihood. You are seeing a crumbling of our infrastructure and a crumbling of support businesses following the destruction of the family fishing business. No, it's very powerful. Uh, the agency operates, uh, in my opinion, with very little uh, oversight and certainly very little intervention. There was a certain detente between the fishermen and NOAA and the regulators and the science community. That's completely gone. The family fishermen are going the way of family farmers. Today, the statistics are like 93% of all the U.S. seafood that's consumed is imported. Serious studies have exposed the fact that a lot of Southeast Asian farmed fish is fed with human waste. America's still going to buy fish, but we're just going to get them from completely unregulated fisheries overseas. North Carolina, California, Washington, Oregon, some parts of Alaska, fishermen all over the country are struggling. Once the sons and daughters go elsewhere to make a living, it's really hard to get it back. 87 percent of fishermen who have gone through the ground fish disaster are suffering symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. People ask you, and these people have the power of life and death over you. I mean, this isn't a $50 speeding ticket if you've got a short flounder on a boat. There are people who lost their houses, were fined, you know, half a million dollars.